Okay, so we gonna really do a little thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Rashawn. Now today's video is brought to you by me However, we are collabing with Julia Jewelry to bring you guys some great pieces for the holidays as well as Nail reserve they sent me over some polishes to check out and we are doing some DIY Sweater nails today your girl has been neglecting her nails as well as her jewelry purchases So I'm giving you the one for the two to give you guys some looks for the hands Y'all see how I'm coming you see how I'm coming we come in with the bling bling and the meow. <laughs> So if you want to see what I'm talking about, make sure you stay tuned for that, okay? Now don't worry, you're not gonna miss my face for too long. I'm coming with some hair and makeup in the next video. If you know my schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know when it's coming, okay? So we're gonna really do a little thing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Ma'am. Hi. <laughs> okay, hi baby. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this one in the future. Let's go. Okay, so this portion of the video is brought to you by Julia Jewelry. I know you guys can see me glossing already. Okay, look at the wrist. Look at the wrist <laughs> and the finger. Okay, because we are sitting. <laughs> We are sitting real cute, okay? This is what the packaging looks like. Very luxe, very nice. All the matte black is really cute. My rings and my bracelet came in this box right here. So, you know, very fancy. I love that. And if you're giving this as a gift, you can put the box in the gift bag. And you also have a um, a care tag right here, as well as a booklet of more jewelry that they have on their site. Look at this. Oh, that's pretty. So not only has Julia Jewelry sent me some pieces in the mail before, I've also shopped with them for like, you know, gifts and everything. So, no shame in my game. I get down with Julia Jewelry, okay? So the first piece they sent me was this bracelet right here. Y'all, so, so pretty. It has like a little drawstring right here. So you basically just pull this down and then you can tighten it back up even with one hand. Like I can, I did mine like this cause you know, Kinkin not here. So I held one with this hand and then I just pulled the other like this. Like I pulled it tight. And then when you wanna loosen it, you just pull it like that. Okay, let's try that again. So loosened up, let me pull it, let me hold it, pull this. Look at that. You don't need a man to put your bracelet on, okay, or buy this one. This one is cute. I love how this looks on me. Fancy smancy, I am. Thank you. I also got me an updated ring because <laughs> why not? Now, of course, I got my, you know, my actual wedding set, but I wanted to see how this bling bling would look on my hand. My wedding ring looks similar to this, and also the shape is a pair, so the outside rings fit around my actual wedding band. So I was definitely rocking that earlier today because, you know, my actual wedding bands are a little bit too small. You know, my fingers got fat, shush, shush. <laughs> it just looks so pretty. I cannot get over this setting. It is gorgeous. So if you wanna check out either one of these pieces, I will link them both down below with my coupon code. Save some money on your order. I love that. Now, before we get into these nails, I want you guys to know, this is a trial and error, first time sweater nail DIY. I want you guys to see how these are looking on me. All right, low light, this is what we looking like. Not too close, not too close. <laughs> imperfections going on y'all gonna see what I'm talking about let's go ahead and get into it okay, okay so first I'm going to use my base coat on the nails to get them all ready one coat is fine and then I'm gonna put it under my lamp for one minute so we are going to use the nail reserve walk in the woods this is what that's looking like I really like this color I think this color will look really good with the sweater nail I think I'm only gonna need one coat this looks pretty thick so we'll see oh my stomach is growling excuse that if you heard it <laughs> Ooh, it's early y'all, I have not eaten yet. I'm trying to, you know, I'm fasting, trying to get my levels and everything together with my PCOS. I may be cutting this hair off, I don't know yet. It may be too far gone for me to try to, you know, save this batch of hair. <laughs> I just been having the itch to like, you know, cut my hair off, like I mean off, off. I even use a TikTok filter to see how my hair will look bald. This is how it will look, supposedly. With a perfectly round head, this is how it will look. But then I can't do my crochet looks how I want, so you know. I'm on the fence, y'all. But I'm not on the fence about this color. Wait a minute, I got a little, a little extra right here. I think that looks pretty good. What y'all thinking? I think so too. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put that one under there while we do the other. All right, so 60 seconds under the lamp. This is what we looking like, very shiny. But today I wanna do the matte top coat. So I'm gonna use the Nail Reserve Matte Top Coat. I'm gonna use one coat on each of these nails. Put this under the lamp for 60 seconds. 
All right, so after 60 seconds, my lamp didn't dry it all the way, so I'm gonna cure it again for another 60 seconds. While that is waiting, I'm gonna get my acrylic ready because I need the acrylic for the sweater look. So, so this acrylic is from Amazon. I have clear, pink, white, and whatever that one is, A0401. It doesn't even have a color. It looks kinda like a cream color, but I'm gonna use the clear. All right, let's get this open. And this is my first time working with acrylic, so I'm hoping that it comes out the way that I want. Now these are the brushes that I have on hand. However, for this sweater design, I would definitely suggest you get the very thin paint brushes or nail brushes. I actually ordered those and I cannot find them anywhere. I know I put them somewhere so that I would not lose them and I still lost them. I mean, this one may work, we'll, we'll see. So I'm gonna use this daughter right here and this brush, then I need this brush to wipe. I cured these for, let's see, one, two, one, about 180 seconds. To start off, I need to put some of my polish on a little cardboard situation here. Now, I got this from another YouTuber. I watched her video over and over, so I'm hoping that I can, you know, kind of get this right. Dip it, dip it a little bit, and we're gonna do some dots or some, some lines, one, Two, one, two, one, two, one. Like that. Can you guys see that? I mean, it's not perfect, because again, I'm using the wrong brush, but we gonna try, we gonna try to make it work. Let me take it off of here. I feel like I have more control if I just hold it. Do a line all the way down. That is messy, but we, we, gonna, we gonna stick with it, okay? We gonna stick with it. Trust the process. I'm gonna use my little dotter tool right here. I definitely like how the dots look more than I like how this looks. All right, so I'm gonna take the first one and you pour the acrylic on the nail. Now I'm not trying to waste this, so definitely be careful that you don't hit the, you know, the design. It'll definitely mess it up. Keep going. Okay, now I'm gonna cure it under the light for 60 seconds. Take a brush and you just brush the excess off. I mean, some of it's coming off. I still got a lot. I gotta brush hard, oh, okay. You see a little something? Kinda, sorta. Let's see how the, how the dots did. I mean, it's brushing off a lot easier than the other one. Let's see how that one looks. Okay, definitely a lot cuter for this one. I should have put a line down this one. Dang it. Okay, so that's how that's looking. Not that great. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again, and we're gonna see if I can get this, get it better this time. So this is how the nails are looking. I definitely have some white cast on this one right here and I can't get it off. I don't wanna scrub too hard. Let me try to use one of these. I think that's working. All right, trial and error over here, y'all. I'm showing y'all how I'm gonna get better. This one was pretty good, I think, by itself. This one looks the best, in my opinion. I think, though, y'all gonna hate me. <laughs> I think I wanna do these, I think I wanna do the sweater look on the long nails. Let me just sit it on my nail really quick so I can see what that is looking like. Not bad, very cute, but yeah, like I, I think I wanna do it on the long nails, do I? I mean, they're not horrible, you know what I'm saying? But do I want the long square or do I want the short? Hmm. Okay, y'all, don't hate me, but I wanna show you guys on this yellow how I do the, um the sweater. So I'm gonna do the dots again.
And the only thing with this is that any mistakes you make will show up with that acrylic. So you definitely have to have a steady hand if you plan on using the brush. If I had the correct brush, I may be, it may be a little bit better, um, especially for these lines. The dots are okay, but the lines are, the lines are real janky y'all. So don't judge me. I'm not a nail tech. I didn't go to school for this. I'm just trying to save some coin. I was looking right now. I'm not all the way mad at it. Like I'm not disappointed. I'm happy that I tried it. And it's a lot easier than I thought. I just gotta get my, you know, get my designs down and get the right brushes, you know what I'm saying? So this is what we are sitting with now. You probably can't really see it as much cause the shadows, let me turn y'all down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my natural nails and then I'm gonna put these on and we'll come back with the finished product. Okay y'all, so we are done. This is how the finished product looks. Turn the light down again. So you make sure you guys can see these nails, okay? For my first time, I think they came out, you know, they, they came out okay. You can definitely see the imperfections in there, but back here, and you can't see nothing, okay? Back up. You shouldn't be this close to my hands anyway, unless you give me some money. <laughs> Let me turn my lights back up. No complaints about this whatsoever because these are my long joints and I do have kids who are in car seats. I got a little something for that. My unbuckle me. If you rock long nails and you don't have this, get it, okay? It is a lifesaver when I'm trying to pinch and push and squeeze that dead going buckle and I can't because of my nails, okay? And I refuse. <laughs> to wear short nails just so I can unbuckle a car seat. I'm not gonna do it. So link to my Amazon store if you don't have this, go ahead and check it out, okay? My bracelet is looking good. My ring is looking fantastic. I love this for me, mm-hmm. So if you wanna check out anything that I featured in today's video, whether it's the nails, the ring, the bracelets, all the tools, the unbuckle me, whatever you wanna check out in this video today, I have it all listed down below in my description box, so you can definitely do that for yourself. Okay, it's the holiday season and this month is giving. The looks are given. I'm here for it, I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Nail Reserve and Julia Jewelry for sending me over these pieces to review. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.